Hey guys, welcome, uh, I, well, not welcome, whatever, it's, a, it's an impromptu video. I got two new books in the mail. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, just have a look at them quick, you know, I just wanted to, to show them off a little bit. It's always happy when there's a new book day. So, uh, let's start with the one that's probably most drawing your eye. Gotenabe, you know about Gotenabe, right? I've done a couple videos on him already. I love the guy, he's, a uh, He's going through the phase of adapting all of uh, Lovecraft's, well, a lot of Lovecraft's stories. This is The Call of Cthulhu. Now, obviously, you're thinking, what's up with the language? It's in German. As far as I know, The Call of Cthulhu adaptation is not yet available in English. I got this from bookdepository.com, but it's in the German. Uh, I do speak German. It's not perfect, as sometimes people tell me, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, what is this? What is this here we get? Ah, what is it? What is it? Don't tear. Some sticker. Guys, I actually, I really just got these books, and I haven't even paged through them. So, this is, this book is as new to me as it is to you. I got the book, and I was like, okay, yeah, I gotta make a video, so I haven't even opened it, to be honest, so. Oh, so here are some of his other adaptations. So the Hound, Color Out of Space. Uh, this is the the Haunter of the Dark, the Shining Trapezoid. This is in German, and the Shadow Out of Time, also in German. Um, the Mounts of Madness, Call of Cthulhu, as we just have now. Jesus, look at this art. This is amazing. Look at that, that is very beautiful. Uh, I, I was wondering what the hell Gotenab is going to do for his art uh, uh, in, in the, the release, you know. So, I was like, obviously I prefer to have it in English, it's my native language. Uh, but, you know, screw it, <laughs> I just wanted to get the book finally. So, uh, as is an anger, you start from the other side. So, honestly, I haven't paged through this. I got it. I, I was wanting to do it on camera just to get my impressions. Um, yeah, look at that color green there. Obviously, it has. It's the complete thing, so there's no part one, part two. Uh, that much I did know in the research. And we start out. Ooh. Yeah, this is the type of thing. That I was expecting to kind of see. I had an idea of what to expect. It says there, if you are not German speaking, um, escape is not more not possible anymore. It's a site. It's a time to write the truth. You know. So obviously that's the the voice, the protagonist, the protagonist, the narrator that we hear in uh, in the Call of Cthulhu. He sits down to write it all, the truth, the bass relief. Oh, I love that script, look at that, that is very cool. Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, is it, I'll, skip a, I'll skip ahead a little bit here. Um, I'm not going to show everything off. Just I wanted to show a little bit. I'm just so happy to finally get it, this book. Uh, it's beautiful, it really is. Uh, I guess it's not really accessible yet to a lot of you because you're all speaking English. I know I have some German viewers, so ich uh, ich uh, ich gebe einen Link, wo du diesen Buch kaufen kannst, kannst falls du uh, Lust hast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I mean, it's got all the. C it's you know, I'm I'm not. I have no doubt about Gotenabe, you know, purchasing this, I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course, I'll buy it, I'll buy it, <laughs> you know, I don't even care, I just like, yeah, I'm not questioning Gotenabe at all, look how that, this is obviously the, 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 the grass part, that's beautiful, oh, the orgy, the voodoo orgy, these filthy degenerates, all naked and writhing and worshipping the statue. The dead bodies there. Hmm. Yeah. 
and then I think it's gonna be like he always has like the character look shocked at something and then you turn the page and then usually yeah there's always something yeah see I know God Tanabe how he does it his style I mean if you saw this what the fuck are you gonna be thinking truly it's just it's yeah yeah this is an amazing uh, it must be old Castro Right, I assume, yeah. Then we go on in the story. So, let's flip a few pages here. It's a bit awkward to do it with one hand, but I just want to do casual type of video, you know. I don't want to always overthink making my videos. I mean, look at this art. I mean, yeah, it's all black and white, but it's just the amount of effort it goes through to make it. Amazing. Really amazing. Expre the faces are, are full of expression, of course, as usual. Here we have the the fight between the cultists and the sailors who discovered earlier in, in the end. You know, look at these degenerate scum. It's interesting how Golden Abbey decided to make them sort of look like look, 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 look like zombies, as were. Well. Uh, really beautiful. The book, of course, I always like to mention the book quality, the high quality, very good quality book. Oh, I'll definitely keep you guys alert, uh, pun intended, given that's the name of one of the ships in the story, alert as to when there is an English copy, because I know that's what the majority of you are going to be looking for. Let's just at least find our boy, our boy Cthulhu, where is he at? I know he's somewhere here, chilling, isn't he? Hmm. There's the door. Let's have a look. Yeah. And let's go find where our boy Cthulhu is. He's chilling here somewhere. Oh shit, the door's opening, guys. Let's see, where is he? Oh yeah, he saw something. I, I, maybe I shouldn't even spoil it for you. But I don't, I don't, as I said, I don't know what Cthulhu is going to be looking like in the story, so I want to see it. I'm, there he is. Oh, there's our boy. Ah, he's a lot more wrinkly than I expected. Look at those lines. A lot more wrinkly than I expected uh, him to be in this, in this, than how he is depicted, you know? Than how I thought he would be depicted, sorry. Yeah. Jesus. All right, well, I just wanted to show off my book a little bit. We know how the story ends, basically. Let's have one more look. Look at that art, Jesus. That is beautiful. You know, obviously, uh, there's uh, Francois Baranger, the Frenchman, who is doing his uh, version of Court of Cthulhu. But this, you cannot make me choose which one is better, because that art is amazing. But this is a different style of art. This is, look at the detail. How much effort into the movement of the waves, it's just, it's beautiful, it really is. So anyway, that's that book. I just wanted to show that off a bit. And the other one, quickly, while I'm here, is the horror stories of Robert E. Howard. You know, a lot of you guys have been saying, Damien, do the, do a, a video on Robert E. Howard. And I'm like thinking, you know, how many books he wrote? How many short stories? Hundreds. He wrote a lot more stories than Lovecraft. I can't read them all. So what am I going to do? Get the horror stories at least. Start with them. Uh, I page through this book a little bit because I am familiar with these works and what I really liked about um, this book so far is the art. You have these very detailed black and white sketchings basically that spot throughout the page, uh, throughout the, the book every now and then. Very, very interesting to see. Look at that. Yeah, um, I won't make a Robert E. Howard video now. This is not it. It deserves to have its own. Mm. I will just say that there is a, um, a Cthulhu Mythos collection of Robert E. Howard's books out there. Uh, that one I tried to buy. I'll put it on the screen, what it looks like. And the vast majority of those stories which deal with the Cthulhu Mythos are in here as well. I've done my research before I bought the book. Uh, I made some marks which are the Cthulhu Mythos Tales, they aren't all in here, uh, apparently, but a lot of them are. 
and uh, a lot of his horror stories what I've done in the research is that it's not just Cthulhu mythos so you mustn't think that this is all Cthulhu mythos you know he did his own style and uh, this is a huge book I mean it's not small and it's heavy it's very weighty this book a lot of pages so yeah uh, his writing style, okay, I'm not going to go into that, but his writing style is quite different from Lovecraft in that, well, for example, I think Lovecraft was a lot more educated, self-educated, a lot more eloquent, and this guy, Robert E. Howard, is a lot more direct, um, and his characters are a lot more, you know, in, in Lovecraft stories, they're always academic students, da 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 here you have more tough guys, that type of thing, I kind of like that. Anyway, I just wanted to show off my two books that I got. Um, this I, I will have to do a proper review of, of course, but maybe I'll save it until the English version is out. I think that will be more fair to you guys. And this book, I'm going to have to do a reading, a lot of reading, before I can do a video about Robert E. Howard. Anyway guys, just sorry for the impromptu video. I know I usually do scripted ones, but I just felt like showing this off to you. So I hope you liked it, and uh, let me know what you think about these books. Do you have them? Have you read them? What are your opinions? I'd love to hear. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, like, subscribe, all that sort of YouTube stuff that people say. So I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.